A 21-year-old student pilot is on her third solo flight ever when she gets some terrible news. Check out what happens. Hey, that diamond star that just took off lost nose wheel tire on the runway at rotation. Wow, thank you. Um, okay. Yes, you did. Diamond 8 Delta Charlie, you lost your front nose gear tire on rotation, and that's definitely how it appears out the window. The entire wheel and assembly is off the side of the runway. Diamond 8 Delta Charlie, did you copy? Copy, 8 Delta Charlie. Your entire front wheel assembly is on the runway. Roger that. Um, should I remain in the pattern? How does an entire nose gear assembly just fall off an airplane? I'm not really sure what happened here, but this seems to be something that happens only with student pilots because you don't hear about this happening with other pilots. Obviously, it's an emergency situation that she has never experienced before, and it's something that she doesn't really know what to do because as a student pilot, this isn't really a scenario that they train you for. Diamond 8, Delta Charlie, you tell me what you need. Student pilot, the Diamond Star. Affirmative, it is 8, Delta Charlie. You by yourself? I am solo. Hey, I'm a flight instructor in 3, I could really if you need any help. I would uh, love a bit of assistance, 8 Delta Charlie. Alright, uh, 8 Delta Charlie, uh, go ahead and get yourself set up for a normal pattern. Keep yourself nice and controlled, and make sure you just slip through your checklist here. And let me know when you're established to the Dalwin. That's the great thing about the aviation community. Everyone is willing to help out, as long as you're willing to ask for that help. Now in this situation, you've already got two pilots that have chimed in offering their assistance. One of those pilots is on the ground. He's recognizing that this is likely a student pilot flying solo, so he confirms that with her. And then you have another pilot who is airborne, who is a certified flight instructor, offering his assistance, and Tower is doing a great job as well. Diamond starting left turn now, he's up to Charlie. And then left turn again into the downwind. You're going to line up for nine or left on the north side there. Uh, this is my third solo ever. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Of course. Diamond 8 Delta Charlie, looks like you're northbound now. You can turn west, and you're still at 3,000 feet. Let me know when you want to turn inbound to the field. I have no aircraft to the north. You can maneuver out to the north as needed. All right, so this is her third solo flight ever as a student pilot, so obviously there's a lot of nerves there, but Tower's doing a really great job of telling her exactly what to do, telling her, hey, we're gonna go ahead and get you set up to land on runway nine left. Now, the other aircraft that's airborne, that's the certified flight instructor, you might be wondering what kind of assistance is he gonna be able to offer her other than talking on the radio? And the truth is really probably the best thing that he can do for her is basically be another set of eyes on that aircraft. Because anytime you have an emergency situation, especially if you don't have a lot of experience in the aircraft or you're not sure what to do, it's easy to get overwhelmed because you start focusing on things that may not matter that much or aren't as important as actually flying the aircraft. He can recognize if she's going off course or if she starts losing altitude or flying in a way that really isn't safe. He can help calm her down and give her some directions that's going to help her out. Roger that. 8 Delta Charlie, I'll continue uh, northbound for now and take a western towards the pattern in a bit here. Ex Juliet, when I land, should I treat this as a normal uh, soft field landing? Absolutely, you know, keep that stick all the way back, touch down, whatever your normal touchdown is, 50 knots, and just hold that nose off as long as you can. It'll go straight, it won't go into the dirt, it'll, uh, it'll go really pretty much straight. You might have to use a little bit of left and right brake to keep it straight. Keep your ailer on correction into the wind, you'll be just fine. If you notice at the beginning of the radio call, the student pilot had addressed that question to 3 Echo Juliet, which is the aircraft chasing her around the pattern. However, the voice you hear on the radio is the pilot sitting in his aircraft on the ground. Now in a situation like this, even though everyone wants to help out, what the student pilot really needs is just one voice talking to her on the radio, providing her guidance and instruction, as long as that guidance and instruction is correct. And so what's happening now is 3 Echo Juliet is just gonna maintain that safety observation role flying around the pattern and following her and he's listening to those instructions provided by the guy on the ground and realizing that he can step in if he needs to if that instruction isn't sufficient for the student. November 8 Delta Charlie let's do this you can start your left turn and your descent at your discretion and line up for at least a four mile final rowing nine or left. Roger that I'll line up four mile final for nine or left eight Delta Charlie. Delta Charlie pilot what's your name kiddo? My name's Taylor. And Taylor, this is Chris. Um, my daughter's name is Taylor, and I taught her to fly. We're going to be just fine, you know. Thank you very much. Hey Taylor, how do the how do the rudder pedals and the brakes work on that diamond? 
My brakes are on, uh, you know, my foot pedals, top of the, top of the uh, pedal is in place. Perfect. Okay, so we're just going to, uh, why don't we do a, why don't, when you come in for final, let's just do a low pass. I want you to get a good look at the wind sock, because when you touch down, I want that left aileron down into the wind about halfway. And the reason why he's asking her how the rudder pedals and the brakes work on her aircraft, it's because he wants her to focus on that. It's going to help calm her down, taking her mind off of the emergency and focusing on something that she does know the answer to. And also it's going to be important for her when she lands to have her feet positioned on those rudder pedals and brakes appropriately. So that way she can use differential braking to keep the aircraft aligned on the runway since she's not going to have the ability of the nose wheel steering. Copy that. Uh, tower, am I clear to turn uh, left base for nine or left? Diamond 8 Delta Charlie, affirmative. Your number one runway nine or left, cleared to land. Wind 070 at six. Uh, tower, I'm going to do a low pass first, if that's okay on nine or left. Pattern again. November 8 Delta Charlie, runway nine or left, cleared option. Cleared option nine or left, we're 78 Delta Charlie. Okay, how are you doing? Uh, I'm doing okay, doing okay. Just uh, want this to be over. <laughs> It's going to be over. It's going to be fine. That's a really good question for him to ask, just making sure she's in the appropriate mental state of mind in order to attempt this low approach. Once you know that the airplane is on the ground and it's not going to fly again, it's not going to bounce, I want you to start looking at the mixture control now, the red knob. Yes. Okay. Once the airplane is completely on the ground, you know it's not going anywhere, and we're kind of holding that nose off, holding that nose off, I want you to pull that mixture out. The, the prop, I don't know how far down the, the, the nose gear is going to allow you to drop. So we'll pull that mixture out and just cut the power off. He's doing a really good job right now of telling her exactly what to expect as soon as that aircraft touches down on the runway. So that way she's fully prepared for it and she knows what to do with the flight controls. He's also reminding her that she's going to need to use the mixture to shut down the engine. All right, hot shot, we're waiting on you. Time for lunch. Oh, lunch sounds good right now. Somebody's going to buy you a nice lunch. I, you need to call your instructor and uh, ask him where he was. Yeah, I know. He, he's not even here today. <laughs> it's all right. You're going to keep going and you're going to do good in this career. Now, Taylor is able to make a low pass over the airfield, getting comfortable with the flight controls as Chris observes her and provides her with some final instructions. Then she performs a go around and turns back into the pattern. And let's watch the real footage to see how she lands the plane. 78 Delta Charlie, runway 9 or left, cleared to land, wind 0, 7, 0 at 6, and you're actually cleared for the option whenever you need. 9 or left, cleared, option 8 Delta Charlie. You going to be a career pilot? I was planning on it. <laughs> this is a good start. This is a good story to your legacy, kid. And Tower, by the way, you're doing a fantastic job, so. Hold it off, hold it off, I like it, right there, it's a good attitude, hold it, hold it, gentle, now she's down, there you go kiddo, nice, there, stick back gently, stick back gently, now go for the mixture, got a kid, nice job, here she comes, the nose is going to come down, you're okay, you're okay, you're okay, talk to me kid, that a girl, Proud of you. Overall, a fantastic job and a great example of the aviation community coming together. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out one of these other student pilot stories on the screen here, and I'll see you next time on Pilot Debrief.